At the bottom of the Chester staircase locks and under the railway bridge, the large basin marks the termini of both the Chester Canal and the Ellesmere Canal. And unfortunately, it's a place where many boaters turn tail and head back south. And that's a shame because the final stretch of what is now the Shropshire Union Canal culminates in one of the most interesting places on the entire canal system for anyone with an interest in boats and history. This stretch of canal from Chester to Ellesmere Port on the River Mersey crosses the Wirral Peninsula and was originally part of the unfinished Ellesmere Canal. The waterway was intended to connect the Port of Liverpool on the River Mersey to the River Severn at Shrewsbury by way of the North East Wales coalfields. This stretch was built but the planned 16 mile link onward to Trevor Basin near Wrexham was never constructed. The route takes you within easy walking distance of Chester Zoo, one of the best in the country, but the jewel at the end of the shoppy is where the small Merseyside village of Netherpool was transformed by the canal company to become Ellesmere Port. The first houses in Ellesmere Port itself grew up around the docks and the first main street was Dock Street, which now houses the National Waterways Museum. As the expanding industrial areas growing up around the canal and its docks attracted more, wor more workers to the area, the town itself continued to expand and by the mid 20th century, thanks to the opening of the Ship Canal, Manchester Ship Canal in 1894, and the Stanlow Oil Refinery in the 1920s, Ellesmere Port expanded again and the dock complex that marks the northern end of the Shropshire Union Canal was a busy transfer point between seagoing vessels and the cargo boats of the inland waterways. The Ship Canal is still a busy waterway as you can experience when you reach Ellesmere Port, but commercial traffic ended for the Shroppy by the 1950s. Thankfully, the whole dock complex has been preserved and now houses the National Waterways Museum, where visiting boaters can moor in the lower basins. Once the place where cargoes were transferred from ocean-going vessels to canal-going ones. Designed by the great civil engineer Thomas Telford, wasn't everything, Ellesmere Port was the largest inland waterway dock complex in the UK. You can look out across the River Mersey to Liverpool, and that's where goods were moved from ocean-going ships so they could be taken along the canal network. It's now a conservation area with 19 Grade 2 listed buildings and when you visit today you can still walk around the locks, the docks and the warehouses and visit the forge, the stables and workers' cottages. The massive building in the centre is the Island Warehouse, built as a store for grain originally and inside you find historic boats and recreations of workshops and there are hands-on displays archive film. You can find out what an icebreaker did and test your skills as a boater by having a go on a digital icebreaker. You can explore boats of all shapes and sizes from a coracle to a cutaway of the beautiful narrowboat Friendship. And there's a power hall packed full of gleaming engines and a pump house that contains the mighty steam driven pumping engines that once supplied the power for the cranes and capstans throughout the dock. It's a fitting conclusion to a cruise along an historic waterway and explains the origins and history of the wonderful shopping in a way that puts it in a much wider context as a key part of the history of this country and even the world. <laughs>